Hello, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you some fun things to do at home when you're bored. So let's get started. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to need a bowl or plate, and you're gonna need some dish soap, a fork, um, some food coloring, and some milk. Now, so first, I am going to pour some milk, um, I'm gonna pour some milk into this plate, and then, you don't want to pour too much, but just enough to cover the bottom surface. So, yeah, that should be enough. So, like, not too much, but just enough to cover the bottom. And then now I'm going to, you want to put place your fork inside of the soap and let it soak a little bit. And then while it soaks there, I'm going to use some food coloring first. And I'm going to use some red. Now, this is the assorted kind, and it's the drip kind, and I know there are quite a few different kinds. I don't know if they'll work, but that is something for you guys to experiment. So, I'm using the drip kind, and first you just want to drip some in, and then you can do all sorts of colors. I'm going to use red, and actually, I should, I'm just going to use all the colors, except for yellow. And then, and then now you want to take some... Um, the fork with the soap on it and then you just want to drop make just use your fork and then place it in and then it Yeah, it does that it makes beautiful patterns and it spreads out super fast and It looks beautiful. So that's what mine looks like And you can create different patterns and stuff using all sorts of colors So this is what mine looks like and I think it looks really pretty so I'm gonna make a few more of these So the next activity I'll be doing is using plaster of Paris, which is kind of like concrete and cement, except for it dries a ton um, faster. So usually what people would do use um, plaster of Paris. They have molds like silicone molds um, or like plastic molds. And honestly, you can get these with your like with craft kits or toys. They just come in plastic and you can use them so this is one that I found and I'll be using this one today so let's get started all right I'm back with some plaster Paris which is kind of like the consistency of flour and some water so usually when people use this they want to get about the same amount and the texture should be not too watery not too dry so like a little bit of like a little gooey and gluey so I'm just gonna try and get that Oh, and one more thing. You're going to need something to mix with. So I'm just going to use a straw, which might not be the best. But anyway, so you want to pour some water in there. And I'm just going to keep mis mixing. And if, I, if it's too dry, I'll add more water. If it's too, you know, too wet, then I'll add more concrete. So there'll be like a bunch of gulbs in there. Um, and you just want to mix those out until they're completely flat. Alrighty, so I finished mixing it, and that seems about how you want it to be. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be using this mold. As I said, you can find this in like a bunch of toys or craft kits. So it's, and I use plastic ones before, and they actually are reusable, which is nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it in um, here. Okay, so I finished adding in um, the, the plaster of Paris, and I, you could fill it up all the way, but I'm just gonna do a little bit because I don't want it to be too thick. Um, another way to make it easier for the plaster of Paris to come out is to coat the inside with Vaseline, and I've also done that with a lot of molds, but I'm gonna try not to see if it works, so that's why I didn't. But usually, plaster of Paris takes not a long time to dry, so I'm just gonna wait 15 minutes, so I'll see you guys later. So, I was actually wrong about it taking 15 minutes. It's been like 25 minutes, and it's still not dry, so forget what I said before. It might take an hour, so I'll see you guys in an hour. Bye. So it's been maybe an hour, which is not bad for a plaster of Paris, but yeah, so I'm just gonna pop it out. It's like really shiny actually, you can't really see it on camera, but it's really, it's really shiny. Oh, yeah, there you can see it. it's really shiny, and it came out pretty good, so I'm going to go and 
paint it. So this is what my finished looks like. So it's really pretty, but it cracked. And that was my fault. I, when I was painting it, I pressed it down a little too much and that's how it cracked. It's fixable, I can just hot glue it together, so that's not a big problem. So I might think about making this a coaster for your cups and that's what I think it's gonna be. So that's what it looks like. Um, it looks a little darker on camera, but it's like a purple and blue gradient. Yeah, so I think it turned out pretty good except for the crack. I'll hot glue that and it'll be better. But um, that's all I have time for today. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.